This is Keith Elwig from Cops Corrections Videos. As I get older, the more I realize how fruitless it is to judge people by their appearance, to judge a book by its cover. This week I'm helping teach a junior police academy, and these are kids that are 7th, 8th, and ninth grade. Now you look at some of them and they're little kids. Uh, they're, they're small, they're, they're weak, the whole works. We went through some physical training with these kids today, uh, just some basic defense tactics, things of that nature. And there was one little guy, and I thought, boy, this little guy, you know, if you blow on him, he's going to fall over. Well, I was holding a bag, and I'm six foot four, 255 pounds, and when he kicked that bag, he moved me. He moved me. I, I actually felt the kick, and it just told me not to judge this young man by his size, by his appearance. Likewise, in the general public, we shouldn't judge people by their appearance. A few years ago when I was working for the county, I was working at an event, and it was probably about 95 degrees with 100% humidity. And I was standing out there, and I saw a man coming toward me that looked like Charlie Manson gone bad. I mean, this man would have made Charlie Manson look like a clean-cut individual. Uh, he was towing a cooler behind him, and as he got up to me, Without a word, he reached in the cooler and he brought out an ice cold bottle of water. Now, of course, I made sure that the bottle was uh, properly sealed and things of that nature. But he went from me to every officer, every deputy that was working that day to make sure that they had a bottle of water and were hydrated. Just yesterday, I was standing in line at a local fast food restaurant. Uh, there were a couple cashiers open. I don't use the kiosks. I'm just opposed to kiosks, so I don't use them. So I was waiting in line. There were two registers open, and I was the next person to go to whichever register opened. Well, without a word, a woman, she was probably in her late 40s, uh, not, not the best dressed. You could tell that she didn't have a whole lot of money or whatever. Kind of butted in line at the second register, and... I thought, well, you know, not only is it gutsy to butt in line, but it's gutsy to butt in line in front of a cop, not that I was going to do anything. And I didn't say anything. I'm, I'm not going to uh, downgrade our profession by getting so upset because somebody butted in front of me in line. So I came up there, and I went up, and I ordered my meal. And when I reached in my wallet to pay for it, the woman behind the counter said, well, no, here, use this gift card. And I said, well, I didn't purchase a gift card. And she said, well, that woman that just butted in front of you in line bought you a $10 gift card and wants you to have a meal on her. Well, as I looked, the woman was leaving the restaurant with her family, so I didn't have a chance to thank her. But it just taught me again, never judge a person's motives or never judge a person by the way they look until you know what their motives are, until you know what's really going on behind them. This woman was thanking me for the job I did, and it was it was greatly appreciated that she did so. There's a lot of good people out there. A lot of them don't look so good. You know, people can look at me and they think, boy, what a big gomer he is. Well, maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. But never judge a book by its cover. Look at the person behind the cover. Read the person behind that cover before you judge them. Once again, this is Keith Helwig from Cops Corrections. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Until next time, Stay safe and watch your back.